Hello and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we will look at setting up and using contracts within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. A contract can be set up when you have sold a customer a group of services or products and you would like to specify coverage dates, let's say for a warranty period. Alternatively, you may sell a customer a specific service or a support contract to cover particular products they have bought and which may entitle them to log a number of cases. When adding a case, you can then check if a customer has contract coverage. Adding a contract is straightforward. You can do it from the contracts area under the service navigation bar, where we are now, or from the contracts area of a particular customer for whom the contract is for. Either way, click New and you are asked to choose from a contract template. You can set up any number of templates which define the coverage type, i.e. date coverage or case allotment, amongst other things. I'll choose Service and then click OK. I can now fill in the required information for my contract, starting with the contract name and also the linked customer. Each contract must have a start and end date. The billing information is really for information purposes such as reporting unless you have CRM integrated with a finance system. The billing frequency is driven by the template we initially selected. The pricing will be updated when we specify our contract lines, which are essentially the products that have been brought or we are covering. Additional details can be added along with the description of the contract and any further notes. The service level is driven by the template and could be used as a trigger for a customer service workflow. Notice also the status of draft and the allotment type that is driven by the template at the foot of the contract. Now click save and let's add the contract lines. Click add new contract line and we can now say what is covered in this contract line, be specific with the product information if required and also have different coverage dates per product. As this is an allotment type of number of cases, we input how many cases are covered and also put the pricing information in. Click Save. Notice that you can also specify a particular calendar to a contract line item so you know when to support it, i.e. 9 to 5 or 24-7. We can then add more lines as required with Save and New, or we can close out by clicking Save and Close. Going back to the main page for our contract, we can now click Recalculate and we see the pricing information get updated. At this stage the contract is in its draft status so we have to click Invoice Contract to activate it. It will remain at status of invoiced if the contract start date has not yet been reached and then it will become active. Once active, which you can see at the foot of the contract, the ribbon changes and you can perform actions at a later date like renewing, holding, copying or cancelling the contract. The contracts can now be used in conjunction with adding cases. If we go into a case I have already entered, I can check if a contract exists and associate that case with it.
Once I have saved my case, I can go back into the contract by using the hyperlink from the contract field and see all the cases linked to that contract and also then by going to contract line items once the case has been resolved the allotment of 20 cases will be reduced by one. Remember also that your contract will show as a part of your list of contracts within the service area and also that the contract will show against the account you linked it to. Well that's it, an overview of contracts and how they can also be used with cases. Remember to always read the help files if you have any problems, but in the meantime, thanks very much for watching this C-Logic video. 